Quarterfinals is here. It's back! Last night... There's a whirlwind around here. It's crazy. Pretty fun atmosphere, but definitely puts the full court press on us to try to do athletes trying to get warmed up, plus coach, plus media, plus affiliate running, plus podcast. It's a little bit of a madhouse, but today feels a bit more relaxed. So Obviously, those wall-facing handstand push-ups were interesting for people. Um, so that created sort of a widespread of times. A lot of athletes are getting to the wall at a very similar time. Um, but I will say blessings from above, uh, from, from Boz floating around up there somewhere, uh, that we didn't have to do the jam-packed back-to-back workouts with prioritizing the lift and then doing that made our lives as coaches, affiliate owners, um, much, much easier. So. Went slow. <laughs> That was the hardest hand, or the hardest shoulder workout I've ever done. Like the handstand walks like started to burn. Muscle ups are actually okay. And then trying to break up front squats just to save, like the front rack was hard, you know. Just like doing everything I can to like not overdo it on the shoulders and then even when I got to the wall I was still cooked before I started. Ow. It went both sides. It was weird because it was easy until the handstand push-ups, which is like, it's 21 of 90 reps. Um, and it was just a lot harder. I didn't really think about like the wall walk and like getting into a good position, how hard that was gonna be under fatigue until I got there. And then like, no matter what, when I did the wall walk, I was like struggling to get into a good position and just had to start a set. The wall walk was really freaking annoying. What's your initial feeling about the workouts? A lot of the takes right now from people in the community are like, what the fuck, why are we doing new stuff? I want everything to be the same. Um, and I think one of the things that separates the best athletes from the, in the world from athletes who could be the best in the world is their ability to adapt on the fly. And there's something really special about that being the case in CrossFit. A lot of athletes did not work on their crossovers and the mentality of what the fuck, I can't do this or this is dumb is not going to help you at all versus that like competitive spirit, that like old school playground, like I can jump and reach this thing or whatever. Um, athletes with that like more growth mindset are gonna have a much better time even if they throw something in that they don't know. And I think that again is like an integral part of our sport. So. Um, you know, I don't need to talk about the specific movements, but I like the overall idea. Austin Spencer, quarterfinals 2023, uh, North America East, event number two. feeling really heavy um, and most athletes want to rest she's gonna put her hands back on the bar a little bit sooner um, and that's gonna benefit her it's really just about you can't waste any time but you also can't empty your gas tank so.
the day. Pretty good. Yeah. It was fun. I don't know if I'm happy with the clean and jerk one. It was hard. It's hard to, because like in the moment, like you know what it feels like. And then after the fact, you kind of like forget that. So you think that you could have picked up the bar sooner or whatever. I like, I, the, it was hard. Like the pull from the floor was hard. So it got to the point where I was like, I don't know if I should pick it up now or not. Good day.